Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be showing you how to modify the main navigation in PrestaShop. Now, what we're going to be doing is taking the category that we created in the last video, and we're going to be moving it up into the main navigation like we had women's before. Now we're going to have women's and men's, and we're going to actually add a nice little subcategory under that just so we can see how that works within that navigation using the module that comes with PrestaShop for that navigation. So check it out. We're going to get started right now. Okay, so in the last video, we created this new category. Now we want to add it to the main navigation. We also want to be able to modify this main navigation. Like what if we don't want t-shirts in here? Um, so let's go ahead and come to the back end of our store and let's go to modules. And then under modules again, we're gonna to wanna to find the module that is the top navigation. So that one is under T. So if we scroll down here of our list of all these installed modules, it's gonna be under T for top navigation or top menu. Let's just see if we can find it here. And now that we're at T's, I don't wanna blow by it because there's a lot of modules. And that's really the power of PrestaShop is that it breaks all these things up into modules. So let's scroll down and we see top horizontal menu. Now it says it needs an update and that's okay. However, we're not going to update it just yet. We'll cover updating modules in another video. Let's go ahead and click this down, down arrow and then click configure. Okay, so now this should be looking like what we wanted before. We have women's dresses and t-shirts as our selected items, which means that they are in our navigation. So we don't want t-shirts in there anymore. We said that is no longer a category. I mean, besides we have it underneath women's anyways. So let's select it and then click remove. Along with dresses. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of this. So we just have women and men. So now let's look at our available items and we can see that we have our CMS pages. So you can add things like about us to the main navigation just by selecting and clicking add. I think that seems like a great idea to have. And then down here, we can keep going until we see our categories. So under categories, we wanted to have men. So let's select men and click add. Now I want men to be underneath women, not about us. So we can select men and then click change position and it puts it below women. So it goes women, men, about us. Okay, and now it adds us if we want a search bar in our, our horizontal menu. Um, if we look at the front end of our site, we have the search bar in the header, so we don't need it in the navigation. So let's go ahead and click save. What's great about this also is if you wanted a link that links to any page, uh, you could just add a label and a link and choose if you wanted a new window here. So it's very, very flexible. Cool, so now that we have that, let's give our page a refresh. And you can see our new menu has been completely changed. We now have women, we now have men, and about us. What's cool about this is we're on the men's page and it automatically knows that this is the active page. So it's highlighting that menu part for us. We didn't have to do anything special to do that. So let's go ahead and quickly create another category and shove it under men here and see what happens. We're just going to come to catalog categories and let's go ahead and click add new category and say, this is just going to be t-shirts. I know we already have a t-shirts category, but this one's going to be different. This is going to be men's t-shirts. So if we open up home, then select men, uh, men is now going to be the parent category of this t-shirts. And we can just say this is going to be men's t-shirts. Again, I don't have an image or anything, so we can just leave this as is. Let's click save. And we now have our new category that is underneath men. If we refresh our page here, we now see that t-shirt shows up in this uh, sub navigation of men. And when we hover over men, we now get a dropdown and the dropdown shows us that we have t-shirts right here. If we were to have another subcategory of that, it would look just like this where we have these arrows next to it. Now, keep in mind that this is just for this theme. Uh, different themes might handle how this menu looks in different ways, but the functionality is going to be the same as long as you're using this module. So check it out, we just added something new to our main navigation. 
In the next video, we're gonna start showing you how to customize your products more using attributes. So we'll get into that in the next video. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.